up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills. Welcome back to the Rota for Champions RTG edition. I feel like I need the girl who wrote Harry Potter to come onto this episode and help me direct this episode and kind of tell a story because there's going to be a massive story in today's episode. And it's a story about this account and about what's happening. And when we start, we're going to start off right where we left off in the last episode. And where we left off was selling Hazard. I didn't want to sell Hazard. I liked the way Hazard was playing the left hand position. We were 11 and 1 in the road of, in, 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 in the weekend league. That's a good start, 11 and 1. And I sell Hazard to be able to turn around and afford Marcelo. Okay, so we ended up having to sell Chan and sell all these players to be able to pick up Sergio Ramos, Osbelli Quenta, and Carver Hall. And you're probably like, so why do you need Marcelo? Because Carver Hall for me cost us a game. Our one loss came because Carver Hall lunged poorly. And then he did it again. And luckily, I won the game. So I wanted to go back to Walker. And the only way I could go back to Walker because I'm, I'm invested in these two center backs, as Billy Quetta and Sergio Ramos, we had to get Marcelo. Booyah Nation, I am invested heavily in my comments down below. And I see you guys, uh, most of you guys don't want me to change my team no more. And hell, I don't want to change my team neither. I'm sick of changing my team. And the biggest thing for me is when we had Anthony Martial, when we had Sonaldo, when we had Walcott, we were getting top 100 back, boom, 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 back to back, back to back. We were getting top 100 like it was nobody's business, okay? And then we started upgrading to team of the seasons and stuff started taking a little bit of a, a little bit of a turn to the wrong side, right? It's, 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 it's team of the seasons gone extremely wrong. That's what it is. Team of the Seasons took us an extremely wrong way because what happened was there were so many cards I wanted to use and so many cards that look great and so many cards I want to showcase to you guys that I ended up picking up a bunch of Team of the Seasons. A lot of them didn't work out for me. For me, you guys are watching the process of what a YouTuber does but behind scenes, right? Because everything I do on this account, you guys see it. So usually on my main account, I showed up like, hey, Yo, Booyah Nation, I got 40 and no. Damn skills, how'd you do it? This card, this card, this card, this card, this card. I knew they were good already. But on this account, because I don't play my main account no more really ever, I don't know who's good and who's bad. So I'm just investing in cards to try to make them fit into a team that I feel can go 40 and 0. And it's not been really working out in our favor. I am sick and tired of changing my team. The one thing I can say is that team from two weeks ago that got us top 100 with Sean and Conte and Anthony Martial and, and, and Sonaldo, it was just a real basic team. That team I don't think is good enough right now to do it again. And the reason I say that is every team of the season is pretty much out now, every league. And a lot of center backs are amazing. As you can see this team right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven team of the seasons and a legend. I just don't know if we would be able to use if we had enough pace to murder these cars like we once did. So I wanted to upgrade it to something else. And I know you're like, my skills, you were 11 and one, okay? And you went to Marcelo and, and you, you, you changed Carver Hall and you only had lost one game. It's because you guys aren't seeing the little details. I'm showing you highlights, and look at this. Oh my God, oh my God, look at this, banger. And I can, I, can, I can edit it to make it look like I'm some insane player. I can edit it to make it look like I, I, I don't get attacked. But let me tell you the truth to the story. I'm barely out possessioning any of my opponents. I'm barely getting good attacks in. Well, in the beginning, in the first 15 games, we were, we were dominating. We were scoring a lot of goals, but one thing I do want you to pay attention to is even in the 4-1 vict uh, the 4 nil victories, 5 nil victories, I talked about this in yesterday's episode, notice how many goals we're suffering in every game. Matter of fact, if I, if I keep a clean sheet at any point, oh wait, I kept one right there, I think. I did, gosh, I finally kept a clean sheet. Then it came against a great a great team, and it came at 12-1. and But besides that game right there, if I keep another clean sheet, let me know the time in the comments down below because I want to go back and watch that footage because I'm just not keeping clean sheets. This guy's team right here, I think that's an amazing team except for Koscielny and Smalling. I think they might be past it. And it sucks to say that because Smalling is one of my favorite center backs in the game, uh, but I just I, I feel like so many players just run past him now. So what I'm trying to do right now and what I can promise you, Booyah Nation, is after this weekend, I am going to put a team together that that's going to be our team. We're not changing. And the scary part about it is Alexis Sanchez. I'm doing everything to try to fit Alexis Sanchez. Oh, I kept a clean sheet right there too. Oh no, this is the this is this is going against my commentary. This is completely going against my commentary. Yo, but like it, I wish I could just if I put a game up for you right now, you guys know I don't lie to you. If I put a game up, you'll see how low possession I have, how people are getting in behind me easily. And it's crazy because I got Osbelli Quetta and Sergio Ramos, and I'm still getting beat with over the tops. In the comments down below right now, have you noticed over the tops becoming extremely overpowered? Matter of fact, smash a thumbs 
thumbs up on this video if you get hit with an over the top at least every third game because in, in like every other game for me I'm getting hit with an over the top goal and it's so annoying to defend against because it's like when someone and this wasn't in FIFA previously the team of the season but now all of a sudden it's like when someone over the tops it's almost like your defender takes a step forward it's so weird it's like the it's like the defenses are so pushed up or so, I, I can't even explain it but the over the tops are happening against me like crazy and then and then look I'm gonna end up keeping another clean sheet as I just told you guys I barely cut, kept clean sheets but I swear to you look right there dominated this guy 4-0 victory okay and I he still was tied with me on possession I just wasn't beating people the way I like to and it's it's funny right because this series was never intended for top 100 top 100 top 100 if I wanted to get top 100 over and over and over and over and over and over and over I'd have stayed on my main account and I'd have just gave you guys main account footage over and over the best of the best players Vieira Hullet over and over top 100 we were doing on the main account I could have just done that here for you guys but the point of this series is to show you the ups the downs the struggles of FIFA like I'm, I'm, I know there's a lot of people who have done top 100 week in week out every week that they've tried but a lot of people have been in but not been in but now and it's just the struggle of trying to continuously get top 100. We've done top 100 multiple times on this road to glory. Um, we possibly could get monthly top 100 again as long as I have a good last two weeks. I believe there's two more weeks to this month. Um, so with all that being said, we're still doing great things. You know, as long as we stay in the elites is kind of what I'm shooting for. And if we sneak into the top 100, that's what's up. But more importantly right now, I'm more frustrated with how many coins I'm wasting when I'm buying and selling and buying and selling and buying and selling. I don't like that. And I agree with you guys in the comments down below that it's getting hell of annoying. And it's annoying to me as well, dudes. But... I'm just, I'm not playing good FIFA. If you follow me on Twitter, you see me saying, hey guys, I'm not really feeling good. And the reason I'm, I'm not feeling good is I'm scoring goals. It's just, I can feel people dominating me. And I can feel this, it's like Sanchez, right? The dude has like 170 games and like 270 goals, some stupid stat like that. And I'm still not happy with him. And you're probably like, wait, what? I just feel like the team is, he's getting a lot of goals, but the team is getting held back or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I just, I feel like I can't hold up play properly with him up there. I feel like I'm just not in a good place. Like I get matched up against this guy right here. Look at that team, right? Our team is way better than his team. We should rock this game. I get a nice goal with Sonaldo early on. Now watch this, watch this off of my free kick. Like I know I brought Marcelo and, he, and then look at that missed tackle right there as well from my, I don't even know who that is. And then he just pops it down and it's one, one on the counters. I'm getting murdered this weekend right here. Felipe Coutinho sends it into Sanchez and he's going to tuck one right into the back of the net to make it two, one. Keep watching this gameplay right here. I'm in a four, two, three, one, a defensive formation. Sonaldo, nice move, gets inside, bangs it three, one. Now watch here. 3-1, 35th minute, defensive formation. It's over, Skills. You won the game. I missed clear the ball with Marcelo. Bangs it into the back of the net. Good goal to him, 3-2. Off of a throw-in. He runs right through with Willian. Bangs it with Martial. It's 3-3. I'm like, damn, I, I choked the 3-1 lead. I come down with Sonaldo. Nice skill move. Drop it into the middle. Good pass. And look at the beautiful ball movement. And I score, and I make it 4-3. And now you're like, yeah, Skills, you did it. Still only one loss on the weekend. But then he comes right back down, finds a wide-open Willian in the 90th minute to tie the game with the all-team-of-the-season defense. And then over the top, bounces to Conte, and then he finds the back of the net with Gomez. And I lose the game 5-4. That's our second loss of the weekend. And at this point, I was in the 4-1-2-1-2 trying to win the game because it was late on. And your boy just, just felt that I wasn't playing good FIFA. And this is why I keep changing my team is because a game like that right there, I see that team beat me. And I go, you know what? What's the point of having all these coins invested in these cards when I'm losing to teams like this? Let's get it right. Let's get a better team. Finding a good team is a process. It's a lot of games in Division One. It's a lot of lot of knowing your teams and players, knowing what chemistry styles to use, knowing what, uh, what, 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 uh, um, custom tactics to use knowing everything is so important and in a game like that being up 3-0 and watching myself lose right when that happened I told myself like man I just I don't know about this defense man look at that over the top right there I sent that all the way from the back to Deli Ali this stuff used to not work in FIFA now it works like crazy and I go up 3-0 and even when I'm up 3-0 through pass Deli Ali another through pass two through passes and he scores with, with the center backs we have, Osbeli Cueta and Sergio Ramos. My man comes right back, Osbeli Cueta puts it into the back of the net for the 4-1 victory. But now all of a sudden we have two losses 
But we are still playing good FIFA. There's no point to get out of control yet because we're playing good FIFA. We're almost at 18 wins with two losses. You guys know the deal. I like to go 20 and two. And if we do that, we're in good shape. I get matched up against a great team here. Erickson, Hulley, Blanc, a fantastic team and a team that go, I go, you know what? This should be a good game. And this is what I'm talking about. I'm in the 4-2-3-1, 80th minute. I'm gonna win the game with one shot. And guess what? I don't suffer. And this is the FIFA I want to be playing if I'm in a 4-2-3-1. Like, know what you're building your team for, Booyah Nation, because what I'm building my team for is for this. A clean sheet, one goal, I held possession, I played good FIFA, done, GG's, I win. But I'm not doing that. I'm in a defensive formation and fighting for my life to not suffer goals, no matter what defenders I have. I went from Smaldini to to, to, uh, to Sergio Ramos, and I just can't I can't I can't grasp it right now. And it's kind of cool this is happening because you guys can kind of see the process of what I'm going through right now. Look, another over the top that I'm gonna kill my opponent with. I swear the over the tops are so weird now in FIFA, man. But. I'm in a place where after those couple games, after I lost, I knew something was still wrong. Look at them. I made that mistake massively. He scores. I suffer a goal again. So I leave this game, and I'm going to buy somebody I just sold. And you're like, wait, Skills, why are you doing this? You're 18 and 2. Now why are you buying somebody else? I'm going to buy Chan back because I don't want Deli Ali and Conte as my CDMs. So... I, was, I got rid of Chan because I went back to Hazard and now I Hazard left and I want Chan back because I felt like my deep this is all this is all happening while I'm playing. I'm in the heat of battle. I'm 8 and 2, 18 and 2. I'm trying to do good for the Booyah Nation. I'm trying to find the best way to get top 100. I'm trying to find a way to get just elite. I'm trying to make everything gel together on the go. And I bring back Chan because Chan and Conte got us top 100 together. So now I ended up selling him, losing on taxes. Now buying him back, then selling him and buying him back. And it's like, man, what's going on with me? So I jump into this game right here. And I bang a long shot with Sanchez and we take a, I mean, with, with Chan. No, that was Alexis Sanchez, my bad. Alexis Sanchez with a banger. And I just want to tell you, after this weekend, no more, man. After this weekend, I'm going to find a team. We're going to stick with it. We're going to battle it out. We can still get top 100 monthly. We can still do all those great things we've been, we've been striving to do. Uh, but more importantly than trying to showcase players to you guys right now, because this is all about having fun. I told you guys, this series is about having fun. More than showcasing players to you guys right now, I want to make sure I have a team. And then once I have a team, and I can showcase y'all good gameplay, then I'll figure out how to showcase you players within that team. But I'm 19-2, and two and we're still having a great weekend as we go get matched up against Joe Bo to Hobo. Um, and he has a pretty solid BPL team up top, and then down bottom is, is Sergio. It's, it's pretty much kind of like the team I'm running in the back. A little bit different. It's, it's just one of those teams that you're seeing now. You're seeing Ramos um, and, and, and a lot of a lot of uh, team of the seasons back there now. And Alexis Sanchez starts his game off wonderfully. wonderfully. Nice skill moves. And doesn't score. But we do get the rebound with the boy Sonaldo. And we go up 1-0, okay? And then we're going to go up 2-0 as well. And I know you guys are paying attention. Besides those first, look at Chan right there. Great banger, man. Besides those first three, four games where we kept clean sheets, once again, we're in a game where we finally keep a clean sheet. We finally keep a clean sheet. And that's only because we got a rage quit. And then I'm starting to think to myself, like, yes, I found it. Chan and Conte together. They're defending well. I didn't suffer a goal. I got it. I get matched up against this guy. He has Mani. He has Sonny. He has Deli Ali. He has Conte. He has a great team. I believe that's Mitawidi in the midfield as well. 87. I think that's him. I'm not really sure, though. So we get matched up in this game, right? Chan doing Chan type things. Back of the net like a boss. 1 0. You're watching this. You're like, skills, man. You're doing this, baby. You're going, you're going 30. 38 and 2 the way you're playing right now. And we were playing great FIFA, man. We're definitely doing our thing. Felipe Coutinho, I want you guys to remember that last week and I was 14 and 0. Last week and I was 14 and 0. And that's why I'm always telling you guys, man, defense is everything. It doesn't matter who's attacking for you. Defense is everything. We suffer another goal. Then we get into the 80th minute and I have I knew I have to score. Usually when I was up by one, I would just defend it. But now I know I have to score to win the game because I suffer so many goals and I'm not trying to go to extra time again. So I go ahead and win this game right here and that's going to send us um, to like, I think that's 21 and 2. So we just hit goal 2 and we get matched up against Killer, Mani, Sonaldo. Um, and he, he was killing me with that Diego Costa. He was murdering me with this Diego Costa, boys. And he subbed him out. And when he subbed him out, I was like, yes. Six minutes in, we subbed Diego Costa. He subs out Diego. I mean, he scores and he subs out Diego Costa like 20 minutes into the game. And when he subbed I was I was I couldn't even believe it. I was so happy man 
I come right back, bang one with Alexis Sanchez to take the lead 2-1, but again, he scores, and I have to make a comeback. He makes a massive mistake right there. I steal it with Sonaldo. I see Alexis Sanchez doing Alexis Sanchez type things, and that boy keeps scoring, but at the same time, I'm still not happy with Alexis Sanchez. It could be more I'm not happy with the entire team. I'm not even happy with Sonaldo right now. I don't, I'm not even happy with myself. I just, I just feel like I'm not doing things that we used to, the way we used to play FIFA. We get into this next game against a 4-3-3-4, a great formation, a great looking team. He has the boy Nacho and Sergio and, and uh, Marcel and, and, and Smalling in the back. And I feel like Sanchez could terrorize these guys. Tell me how this over the top is. Why is that a thing, Booyah Nation? What, why is that a thing? FIFA didn't have that in the beginning. I don't remember scoring goals like this in the beginning of FIFA. And now it's like over the tops and it sucks because the over the tops doesn't actually allow the person to defend it. It's kind of like a thing like, hey, does my player react? Does the AI react for me? Otherwise, I'm screwed because you can't really do, you can't do nothing to an over-the-top ball. All you can do is try to run a guy back there quicker, but even that's nearly impossible. We're up 3-0, just kidding. 3-1, we suffer again. How am I suffering with Asbeli Cueta and Sergio Ramos? I have no idea. My boy Felipe Coutinho doing Felipe Coutinho type things. 4-1, back of the net. I don't want you guys to think I'm complaining at all because the last thing I'm doing right now, Booyah Nation, is complaining. That's the last thing I'm doing. What I'm doing here is trying to explain to you guys why I've made decisions to change my team so much, why I don't feel comfortable on FIFA right now. I just feel like I can't get two center backs that don't get beaten on the over the tops. And I feel like I can't look at that. 4-2-3-1 with two defensive mids and still giving up goals and it's Conte and Chan and Conte and Deli Ali. it doesn't matter who I have I get matched up against this guy right here NYC Chelsea look at that team Sergio Ramos team of the year and Nacho your team has to be stellar now for you to do to do good things man your team has to be absolutely stellar otherwise you're gonna be in trouble Nice little pass, Walcott. Nice little one-two. Walcott's in there like swimwear, and he bangs that. He's bags in. Walcott's still doing his thing. People are running all these team of the years, team of the seasons, and Walcott's still out there for us. And that's another thing. Like, should Walcott really be out there? I know we had best for a little bit, and we sold best, and a lot of people didn't want me to sell best, and a lot of people wanted me to sell best. But I'm trying to make moves to just try to fix our defense before our attack. And I still can't fix my defense, man. As you can see right there, back of the net, easy peasy, 2-1. I used to be so good at defending, man. And look at this. After being up 2-0, it's 2-2. In the, late, in, the, in the late stage of the game as well. Luckily, we're going to come right back at him with Alexis Sanchez. And look at Alexis Sanchez in the 90th minute. It's why I love him. It's why I haven't sold him. Like, he's been on the he, he's been on my trade pile so many times to go. And then he does something like that. And I'm like, I can't, I can't lose him. I can't lose somebody with these stats. I just, I can't lose him. I want him on my team. Look at that finish, bros. It was unbelievable to win the game. And we are now 24 and 5 when I get matched up against this. A five back a good five back as well and what's incredible about this is this is the statement i just put out there for you guys everything i've been saying is going to be shown right now so we jump into this game right and we have the perfect start to playing five back. We come out 20 minutes in. Marcelo breaks down the line. Marcelo still with it. Sends it inside and Sun scores. Bang, you're done. You're playing five back. Lock it up. Save it. 87th minute. That's He crosses the ball from somewhere that no one even crosses from. And he bags it. And we go to penalties. He misses with Sonaldo. I score with Sonaldo. I'm, I'm in the lead. Everything was right. I went down the middle. He saved it. He's, I score again. I believe he skied another one, and then I choked on the shot, and I lose again to five back. And then this is kind of when the crumble start, like the downfall start, the crumble starts to happen. That 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 gets to me, man. Losing the game like that in the 90th minute, or pretty much 87th minute, across that was kind of out of no man's land. He hit me up. He was a member of the Booyah Nation. He was like, "Hey, man, sorry for playing five back. I saw Nep's video. I saw it was good. I was just testing it out. Unlucky." And I was like, "Yeah, man, no problem. GG." So that was my third loss, and that was me knowing that top 100 is a big, big if this weekend. To take three losses already, even though we're almost at 30 wins, it was just I knew we were kind of in a tough place. I bang one right there with the boy Chan, who's playing good FIFA. I'm not gonna lie to you, but even with him playing good FIFA. It doesn't really matter because look at this, man. 1-1. One, one. Alexis Sanchez scores. I get a corner. Walcott keeping it alive. Beautiful pass. Now it's Billy Quetta going to get the assist of his life. Beautiful assist to make it 2-1. Now we're going to sneak away with a W right there. But there you go, Booyah Nation. You see, once again, winning 1-0. I suffer a goal. I just can't keep a clean sheet to save my life. We get to 25 wins. We're 25-3 and three at this point when we get matched up against this team right here. And I knew I couldn't lose. I knew that I had to make it to 30 if I want a top 100. I'm not really tripping on top 100. I think the month, the week that I really want top 100 is next. Next weekend when all the cards are available to us we get beat in the air Osbeli Quetta no chance there 
Off of another corner, we get beat in the air again. Um, very, 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 very lucky to not be suffer, but not be down by more. Another ball into the middle, and we get beat again. Three, three headers, got beat all of them, and he scores. We come right back down. Walcott's in there. He ties. He makes it two one in the forty first minute, and it's not enough for us to get back into it. So we have four losses after starting the way we started. Incredible again. Last weekend, fourteen and zero, and we lost. Uh, and then we, we, we ended Elite 2. This weekend, we start incredible, and we kind of crumbled. And it's the whole thing of just not being comfortable with the team. It, 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 it's, it's that simple. I'm not comfortable with a team. I'm forcing plays. I'm doing everything to try to win. And right now, for me, it's about getting Elite and, and definitely building something massive. This Like, I want to get this gameplay out to you. This gameplay, tomorrow's episode will be the last of the 40 games. And I want to put something together. I need your help in the comments down below. I got to put something together. Whether I have to lose Legends, I don't care no more. Legends, no legends i i just need something that i feel good with that i'm you guys know i don't really change my team during the weekend league this has only been a thing starting like team of the season i don't do that i don't, I don't like changing my team through the weekend league that's a mistake that's a new move man but when i see myself playing like this and watching people just dominating me i'm just like man it has to be the team and i'm playing bad fifa on top of that like it has to something's got to give here so four one and this is good like i said this is a good process because the funny thing about it is as all this was happening I remember lots of bunnies, AKA, right? If you watch the vlog chain, you know who she is. She was like, hey, take a break and stop. And I was like, I don't want to. I'm having too much fun. I can't get away from FIFA. I just want to play FIFA. I just want to play, play, play. And even when I finished my games, I was playing Division One. Like, I just didn't want to stop playing FIFA, even though I wasn't getting the best results. I'm having fun with the game. And it's, it's, this is the biggest part for me. The struggle is fun to me. A lot of people will call me crazy for that, but. When I played World of Warcraft, yes, I used to play World of Warcraft. Any game I play, the struggle is the funnest part. And then once I get good at the game, it's kind of like, it's still fun, but I like the struggle because it helps you get better. I don't know. Let me know anybody, if anybody else is liked in the comments down below. But as you can see, that's where we're going to end it. Right there with 27 wins and just four losses. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, we can still Okay, so in the last episode, I told you guys that I was going to change things videos. around. We were going to shuffle man. it all around. Sure so I was going to sell George Best. A lot of people yeah. didn't want me to sell Best. Some people did want me to sell Best. I know it was kind of mixed. A lot of comments didn't want me to. But Booyah Nation, I sold them. And I sold them because I want to build a team that's fun to play with. And as I say the word fun, the guy that's going to pop up on your screen is Asbeli Cueta. And y'all know I used Asbeli Cueta and y'all know I did not like him when I used him the first time. And hopefully this is not a mistake because I didn't like Mani. Then I went back to Mani and I still